One of Ukraine's top generals said on Tuesday that his forces were advancing in the south, one of two theaters of their counteroffensive to evict Russian occupation forces, but offered few details of their gains. In the Tavria sector, there has been an advance by the defense forces, General Oleksandr Tarnavsky said in a post on Telegram, using the military's name for the Southern Front. Tarnavsky, head of the Southern Group of Forces, said troops had conducted 1,198 assignments in the past 24 hours, with Russian forces sustaining losses of 261 men and a further 10 being taken prisoner. The General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, in its evening report, said offensive operations were proceeding in the east and south, with little elaboration. It reported Russian airstrikes in southeastern Zaporizhia region, the focus of the drive south to the Sea of Azov. The report also said Ukrainian forces had repelled Russian attacks in areas of Donetsk region already recaptured by Kiev and around the long-contested town of Maryanka further west. Military analysts have spoken in the past week of Ukrainian forces consolidating positions around the village of Verbov on their southward drive. The drive in the east has focused on recovering land around the devastated town of Bakhmut, seized by Russian forces in May after months of heavy fighting. The Institute for the Study of War, in an assessment issued on Monday, said Ukrainian forces had made marginal gains in the area straddling Donetsk and Zaporizhia regions. Russia lost 40 artillery systems and 15 tanks in one day, according to a Tuesday update from the General Staff of Ukraine's armed forces, amid Kyiv's grinding counteroffensive. The General Staff said in a post on social media that, since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began in February 2022, Moscow has lost 279,440 troops. 4,732 tanks, 9,008 armored personnel vehicles, 315 aircraft, 316 helicopters, and 6,565 artillery systems. Newsweek has not been able to independently verify Ukraine's figures. Estimates of military casualties in the conflict vary widely, with figures provided by Ukraine usually outstripping those given by its Western allies. Russia rarely releases figures on its own troop losses, but when it does, its estimates are far lower than those of Ukraine. Newsweek has contacted Russia's defense ministry via email for comment. Both Ukraine and Russia are suffering mounting losses, nearly four months since the start of Kyiv's long-anticipated counteroffensive. The Institute for the Study of War, a US-based think tank, in its latest analysis of the conflict in Ukraine, said Kyiv's forces marginally advanced in the donetsk zaporizhia oblast border area amid continued counteroffensive operations in western zaporizhia oblast and near Bakhmut on Monday. The think tank said geolocated footage published on Monday indicates that Ukrainian forces made small gains northwest of Novomayorsk, a village in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian general staff reported that Ukrainian forces continued offensive operations in the Melitopol, Western Zaporizhia Oblast, and Bakhmut directions, which has seen some of the most intense fighting of the war. The ISW said it is updating its Sunday assessment that Ukrainian forces lost positions in a trench system southwest of Robotai, a key village on Ukraine's southern Zaporizhia front, to Russian counterattacks between September 13 and 30. The think tank said geolocated footage published on Monday and satellite imagery indicate that Ukrainian forces likely retook these positions sometime between September 12 and 17 and currently hold them. Ukraine's Digital Transformation Minister, Mikhailo Fedorov, wrote in a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, on Monday that his country's army of drones struck a record number of Russian artillery pieces last week. Last week was a real catastrophe for Russian artillery, Fedorov said. The army of drones did its best to make it happen. The total number of damaged equipment equals 220 pieces. Drone pilots continue to rock and setting new records. The Army of Drones program is a Ukrainian government initiative and fundraising campaign to purchase drones for Ukraine's defense forces, according to news outlet Ukrainska Pravda. Russia's military has built up anti-tank defenses in eastern Crimea, far from the front lines in southern Ukraine but close to internationally recognized Russian territory that would be threatened if the Ukrainians swept through the peninsula, new footage indicates. 
Video clips shared on Monday by Atesh, a military movement of Ukrainians and Crimean Tatars, appear to show lines of dragon's teeth defenses near Feodosia. This city is on the eastern edge of the annexed Crimean Peninsula, to the southwest of the Kerch Strait linking the disputed territory to Russia. Moscow has controlled Crimea since 2014, and used the peninsula to attack mainland Ukraine throughout the months since the full-scale invasion began in February 2022. Kiev has repeatedly vowed to retake Crimea. Crimea would be the ultimate goal for Ukrainian forces now slowly working their way south through the Zaporizhia and Kherson regions, also annexed by Russia but not entirely controlled by Moscow. Dragon's teeth are not a new phenomenon and are concrete blocks used to halt tank advances and prevent mechanized infantry from gaining territory. They are a classic military tactic, and not overly difficult to remove with the right resources, but they do slow down an offensive like Ukraine has mounted in southern Ukraine and concentrate Kyiv's fighters in one area. Many months before the Ukrainian counteroffensive in these regions got underway in early June, the UK government said Russia had already started placing dragon's teeth around the captured Donetsk city of Mariupol, as well as throughout occupied swaths of Zaporizhia and Kherson. This activity suggests Russia is making a significant effort to prepare defenses in depth behind their current front line, likely to forestall any rapid Ukrainian advances in the event of breakthroughs, the British Defense Ministry said in November 2022. The General Staff of Ukraine's armed forces reported on October 4 that Russia had lost 279,890 troops in Ukraine since the beginning of its full-scale invasion on Feb. 24, 2022. This number includes 450 casualties Russian forces suffered just over the past day, 